So, you might be wondering, why am I crazy enough to even mod this engine? So, I'm going to show a few examples here on why H2A is the best engine. So, this first one here, I'm going to essentially spawn 1,000 trees on a map, and I'm going to show the difference between H2A and Halo Reach. So you can see here, I have a thousand different trees on here, or actually you can't see because the way the H2A does it is you can basically create these prefab tags and they're just little markers you put. Um, and I don't know if you caught that, but it only took around four seconds for this to import. And there are literally a thousand trees on this map. Okay, so the way that Reach does it is a little different, and you can actually still do this in H2A. Uh, basically, you just use instance objects. So those exist in H2A, though uh, you can use twice as many per BSP. But uh, basically, instead, no prefabs exist in uh, Halo Reach, so you're pretty much stuck using instance objects. And those take a lot longer to export. Um, you can see here, it's going and going and going. So 
So you can see this took around 38 seconds to finish. And it is in game. It does work, but it took a lot longer than H2A does. And this would take even longer if these were all instance objects that weren't, well, instance, so based off of each other. Reach is essentially copying the same object over and over. And I can show you here, look at how many errors this object has here. There are just a stupid amount of errors. Now, of course, the leaves on a tree and stuff would usually be render only, but just for this, I didn't do that. Just so I can show here that in H2A, that same exact object literally has zero errors on it at all. There are zero errors on the same exact thing with a billion different open edges on it. So this is another test I did, and I basically took this rock and I just completely deleted the bottom of it. And a lot of engines would not like that because you're just leaving open the bottom part. But uh, once again, H2A just does not care at all. You can see once I load up this map, uh, there are no errors on this thing at all. And you're going to see in a second I can walk around it. It's not going to kill my player or anything like that. It just, it just works. Like, open edges are practically non-existent in H2A. So now if we pop into Halo Reach and we export the same exact rock as an instance piece, you're going to see uh, it has some issues. So at first glance, you're like, oh, it's fine. Like nothing's wrong. And then I uh, then I enable the uh, debug errors and you can see there's like an absolute butt ton of them. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of how it goes with, like, Reach and some of the older engines, where H2A just, it, it literally does not care about open edges at all. And I'm going to go back here just to show you. Even when I enable, like, showing all the geo errors, there are none on the H2A object. It just works. So in addition to just these easy map changes, there's so many other things like proper biped driving support, which means we can have like proper mech vehicles, like more than just the Mantis. We could have the Reaver from Halo Wars, for example, the Cyclops. There's a lot of possibilities. This is another thing where you can enable physics on attachment objects. So you could give it, you could make it so the Warhog turret essentially is like collidable with the player. This is another thing I found where you can make shadows cast like a very, very far distance, which is pretty cool. And I mean, there, there's just so many other things with this engine that like I could make a whole video on it, probably just comparing it to some of the older engines and why it's just like pretty much it's piqued my curiosity. And like it is so worth using just because of all the extra features and just simplicity of like making maps and stuff like that. I will say though that this engine does have a lot of very difficult things. Like HUDs for example are really difficult. Adding sound to the game is harder than the other games. But like through hours and hours and hours of smashing my head against my desk until eventually it started working. I have pretty much figured out like every major thing with this engine so like if anyone's interested i could totally make tutorial videos on this so yeah let me know and let me know if you're interested in the project i'm working on